Welcome to the Two Minute Entrepreneurship, where we use movies, shows, books, podcasts, and people to give you tips on how to be a better entrepreneur and sharpen your skills daily. Subscribe and like. New episodes release every Monday through Friday. The story of Chewy.com. Ryan Cohen always wanted to build an e-commerce company, so he settled on what he thought was a terrific idea in an industry ripe for disruption online jewelry sales. He built the website, set up the delivery systems, bought the inventory. But about a week before his scheduled launch, he had a revelation. He was in a local pet store with his poodle, Tylee, asking the owner about the most healthful food he could buy for her. That's when it hit him. He was getting into the wrong business. He didn't care much about jewelry, but like many dog and cat parents he knew, he was passionate about what he bought for Tylee. The pet industry was big and growing, moving from mass market to premium. On that day, Chewy.com was born. With Amazon as fierce competitor and limited resources, they knew that superior customer service had to be one of their core competencies if they wanted to deliver the same experience he had at the neighborhood pet store. So their first priority was building a team to work the phones, live chat, and emails in their call center so that they could stop doing all that themselves. Six years later after bootstrapping and taking out loans, the company was bought by PetSmart for $3.35 billion. Thanks for tuning in to the 2-Minute Entrepreneurship. Please like and subscribe. New episodes release every Monday through Friday.